Yeah, no, it's uh, not much fun uh, getting rolled by small margins, but in the end, uh, I thought you know North Melbourne played an outstanding game, and you know on balance it probably felt as though they they had the better of the day. Um, but uh, yeah, any time it's under a goal, you. There's a tiny little bit of luck involved, and in round nine, we've probably had that luck, and I'd probably trade right now. Where did the race have the difference today? Uh, I thought, well, around the, the contest, contested possession, well in their favour. Um, I thought aerially down forward, they just took some really telling marks, which obviously were, were significant. Um, and then, yeah, probably, and obviously quarter one, we just, you know, pretty disappointed that we, in both our finals, Sorry, both the finals which we've lost. Um, you know, we just haven't quite had the the level of intensity that we uh, expect of ourselves uh, from the first minute of the game. So, um, you know, we'll have, we'll have to live with that one. <laughs> but uh, beyond that, I think you know, still, you know, amazingly proud of uh, of our group and the way that they and uh, keep presenting and keep fronting up and keep giving themselves an opportunity to uh, contend and uh, and clearly, you know bitterly disappointed to to fall you know very narrowly short but um equally proud that we uh, are giving ourselves that opportunity year on year and that in the development of you know some of our younger players has been you know really enjoyable to be part of this season yeah pretty confident mate we, we um to be fair, I thought uh, season seven rolled off the back of season six pretty quick, and we had a few outs. So I actually felt as though, you know, maybe that was our, our level last year. You, whenever you're in the prelim, you want to win it and you want to go on to contend. But um, yeah, this one probably stings a little bit more because I feel as though, you know, our best footy um, could well have been uh, good enough to play in the grand final. But ultimately, you know, our opponents also played, you know, an outstanding brand uh, on both occasions. So we just cop our licks. You rebounded from that first quarter and you got right back in it. Have you seen a better mark than Ian Hatchard's? That was a pretty good one. Did you see a better AFLW mark? Uh, well, I was watching it from ground level, so I only really just saw the, you know, the, the end, the end point. So I'll, uh, I'll go back and have a look on replay. But yeah, clearly a super talented player, and you know, just can do some things to, can help a team get over the line. Um, you know, ultimately. Clearly, we're disappointed that we collectively didn't get there. But as I said, you know, across along throughout the game, the effort uh, and the you know the way that they did respond after a bit of a sluggish start was uh, you know exemplary. Last week, you said that it was your first four quarter performance. Yeah, of the year. Is that yeah. Consistency, like, albeit you've made a preview, but has that consistency been you know the biggest issue for you this year? Yeah, well, I mean, it's probably unrealistic to think that you're going to own own the game for four quarters all the time. Um, but I think you know when we when we look back on our season, we'll we'll find that um, that there's just quarters or half half. Often it's 10 minute periods where uh, we just aren't quite at our level, uh, and and therefore, and it, it can be a little bit of part of you know growth and development of a of a some newer players into the group. But um, but that's something we can get better at for sure. Um, North turned the final series on on its head with what they did to Melbourne. How much have they been a bit of a surprise? Whether they've managed in this final series? Yeah, I don't think I don't think surprised to be honest. I, I think they played really good footy all all season. Uh, defensively, you know, they were number one across the across the season. As I said, we played them in round nine and, and got the win, but uh, you know, on on many days they should have won that game as well. So I don't think it was a ma a massive surprise that they've been able to put together a really strong final series to date. And obviously next week. Game will be, you know, really strong, really good one. We played both those sides, and they've beaten us both mm. <laughs> by narrow margins. But you'd anticipate that it'll be a, you know, another cracking game. Mm -hmm. I mean, overarching the standard of footy uh, across the competition throughout the whole season has been uh, at a, you know a really high level, and I think you know the game's in good shape. You spoke about how you know you're confident that you will, you know, bounce back. What do you do then? We have a break. <laughs> we don't do much for a little while. Um, yeah, and the reality of the AFLW landscape is there is a long, a really long off-season period. So um, while I'm no doubt there'll be, a, you know, they'll be burning a little bit the players. It's actually pretty important to uh, have a little period of recovery, uh, rejuvenate, and then you know they'll just get back to work. They've, they've just got a massive. Um, Pride in their performance. They love. They love trying to be good, and they'll uh, they'll front up. And uh, yeah, I've got I've got no doubt at all that they'll that winning and losing. As I say, you know, stick it under a goal. There's there's a little bit of luck involved, and it won't. I would be very very surprised if it impacted their desire to be good. Still got to trade and draft before you do have that break. Are there any areas 
Uh, yeah, well, I think every team will be in the same boat. You just you, know, you just try to get better across the board. Um, you know, we're well aware that there's a, you know, a wave of young talent coming through. Unfortunately, Port Adelaide get about all of them this year from South Australia. But uh, but we'll obviously yeah, just look at the draft and, and look look at the trade and, and, and see if there's areas we can improve slightly. But to be honest, I haven't given it a hell of a lot of thought right at this moment in time. Everyone got what they want? Brilliant. Good job, guys. Well done. <laughs>